last lobby of day one. Oh, we get to see everyone's points. What's up, guys? I'm Zarek here. We are watching the final lobby of Group A day one in the Mythic Cup. Um, yeah, not much to say besides that. We've seen some really cool lobbies so far, some interesting comps. Biggest takeaway so far is that Duelists is definitely back. Yumi is still strong. Uh, Ox Force can be quite strong under the right circumstances. In Niche Scenario, Sure Shots is good. And then a lot of just cool reroll comps based on hero augments. Uh, yeah, we'll see what this game ends up being hero augment wise. Some hero augment, no hero augment. Oh, Jax is also fine. Uh, Underground is a very good opener. We see already one player with Underground. So we'll see how they do this game. Um, but yeah, just excited to see what more comps people play. Ooh, really blue buff. Oh, and he just, yeah, he just snap takes metabolic with the Underground opener. I like it a lot. Who's company here? Ooh. Those are not great hits, I must say. This one underground here, but wait, I mean that would give you underground. But he decides to not take it. Because it gives you the Vi and it gives you the plus one. He decides to just play like a strong board. Interesting. Okay, now this is what you want on a threes company. He got a, a Kaisana main. This is, you know. Your threes company versus the threes company she tells you not to worry about. Like, that's so rough that he got Sona, Alistar, or the other two, like Ramus, and then one other unit that, like, who cares? Kind of rough. It's just gonna end up being Econ, which, like, it's 12 gold, but 12 gold is not worth a gold tier augment, for sure. I wonder if Jules is better in China because tempo is faster. Maybe it's legit weaker than it. I mean, it definitely could be. I mean, it doesn't look like these lobbies are, like, at insane tempo like everyone rolling down at 3-2 though um so yeah okay he ends up at least getting the underground in with the sona so that's something uh it, it basically got him underground early can you give me a link for this uh sure here i'll just link you to this video and then you can find their uh witch through there if you want um and there will be more this is only the first day so tomorrow there's gonna be more games which might be today honestly um and then there's going to be a grand finals after that um on sunday it looks like so yeah lots of games to review should be fun it'll be really good to get some uh games on this Let's get to get to watch some pods on this patch okay so this is just a jacks game we saw this earlier just scope weapons into jacks people just really like this uh want to immediately commit and they already have the jacks Guardbreaker is a fine item. You really just want full damage on this Jax. Like, Guardbreaker JG could be legit. Uh, also, when we saw Jax played, it wasn't the mech version of Jax. When we saw um, Shiza AK play, like one of the really early games on this patch, we saw him play just mech Jax. But it looks like this is just... Um, this is just, like, a Brawler Jax is what we've seen, or six Brawler Jax is what we've seen today. So, interesting. No mech jacks. Maybe the rise of mech jacks. Mech jacks was really exaggerated. So much underground in tournament, by the way. I mean, that's just TFT. If there is an econ augment in the game, people are going to use it in tournament to try to maximize their ability to cap out. That's just every set, it feels like. But, I mean, hey, it's fun for the game, so I'm not going to knock it. Kills on the first cash out. I mean, he's 82 HP with that accelerator, so he is doing fine. That is a Kaisa 2. That is a Kaisa 2, but he's 5 loss. So, yeah, he wants to really, like, cut his good units, put in the worst possible board he can, and then just buy the Kaisa 2. Wow, uh, what an incredible start. Kaisa 2, and he gets to 5 loss, and he still makes 20, even buying a Kaisa 2. Wow. He doesn't even end up that low, huh? 67? I mean, that's kind of low, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, yeah, perfectly played. All right, another continued heist. We got uh, no cowards in this lobby. It's all people who play honorable TFT, go to the, the largest heist possible. Gumlight JG slammed here. I wonder what this is going to become. It's like, I don't know. If you play like something like Talia, Gumblade's not insanely good. Uh, that's normally what I think of JG. It could be like Soraka items. But he's nowhere near like uh, blue buff for that. But yeah, I mean, this is just Kaisa 2. Four Recon as well. 
And that's before augment. We'll see if it ends up being here augment here. Like EIS case scenario for this guy. He hits um Isaac carry augment or even Ezreal uh, support augment. And he's in an amazing spot. It'll be a little scary if this isn't here augment for the Kaisa player. It's not, okay. That's definitely interesting to think about. Ooh, okay, minion twice. I mean, he has 66 HP. Yeah, he's... He keeps chilling. Jeweled Lotus with JG. Everyone loves this in China. What the... Can we go back? I just don't get it. You take Jeweled Lotus here over, like, even, like, just reroll with JG already slammed on your jacks. He just wants the 20% crit chance. I, I do not understand the level of Jeweled Lotus prioritization with JG in China. Like, okay, I gotta look at stats. Augments. Jeweled Lotus. Wait, there's no items here? Okay, so then I have to go to Explorer. Jeweled Lotus. And then Items. Jeweled. Jeweled. Gauntlet. It increases the average placement of Jeweled Gauntlet by 0 0.05. It's insanity. Same guy from last time, he knows something we don't. He has 19 points, okay. Yeah, maybe he's just trolling, I guess. That's wild. Me? Me, it's because it's such a flex augment, it's always good, like CV. Yeah, but he already has JG slammed. And he's he's not flexing. This He is not flexing. He has uh He has uh what is it? What is it called? The the extendo range augment, and he is playing Jax. I will I will bet you a hundred dollars that this man plays Jax from his spot. Like, I don't think he is playing anything else. Um, so it's not even like flex, you know? Yeah, I don't, I do not get that. Okay, four underground player, he's at two heist, 71 HP. So pretty healthy, honestly, for being two heist. Um, now he's, uh, could be onto his three heist. I mean, surely you, surely you continue heist here, right? If you don't continue heist, you're like a, like a very uncool guy, I would say. For 100% crit chance, it's not that not think i think it's way worse than like i'm pretty sure it's just a mistake i like i don't know what you'd have to do to convince me oh he's thinking about taking that actually looks like he, and two people actually cash out here okay interesting this guy's 62 he definitely could have pushed for more cash out yogurt would be disappointed at his players i think not continue their cash out crit you have kill units faster yeah but like you just rather any other damage augment uh i mean i guess you can't have battle mage you just rather like any other augment like just build a death cap oh this is third cash out rocket grab see this is a player who knows how to do it continue heist there this is look it's it's amateur hour oh okay so I said the Kaisa player would be a little bit disappointed to see uh, another non-hero augment here, but like Pony Frontline is really good in Kaisa, so I don't think he can be that mad. And as long as one of these stage four augments is three costs, he might be fine. Uh, secondary carry like Soraka or Belveth, yeah, but like it's not worth it, I don't think. This is also, oh, okay. It looks like a Draven carry game, but it looks like he's just pivoting to like Strong forward, fast eight. Yeah, he, he doesn't have any Dravens. Um, so he's actually just using Draven as an early item carry. And he's just going to go the fastest eight of his life with uh, Rich Get Richer. I guess you can build these. It's not the worst. All right. Um, let me get to zero on seven here. Try to find a Jax to... Oh, ends up pivoting to Samira. Oh, shit. I just lost $100. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he actually pivoted out of Jax to Samira. I mean, I don't think this was his main game plan, but he did end up pivoting out of Jax to Samira too. Uh, is this new patch or old patch? It's the new patch. Yeah. Your augment here and there's no three cost. It's rough for the Kaisa player for sure. Curious to see what they end up having to take. 
Seeing a lot of Samira augments being taken. Vigilant? Yeah, that's great. Oh, he took set. Wait, is that punch protocol? It's the set carry augment. He's playing set frontline. He's playing set frontline recon. Okay, this guy is either a genius and he's going top four, or he's a fool and he's going eighth. But I'm excited to see what happens. I heckin' love TFT tournaments, man. But that's so interesting. That's punch protocol, right? That's his carry augment. The surely regenerative shields is the other one. The support. What's wrong with set frontline? Just no good synergies? Well, the problem is that you already have, um... Like, set frontline just doesn't really make much sense with um, phony frontline. And it also doesn't really, like, there's no synergy with, like, recons. Like, normally when you play recons, you just play threat frontline because, like, you know, they're the strongest frontline you can get in with that because you don't have any synergies, you know? Um, but yeah, it's just, like, it, it doesn't really... You don't see it very often with recons because they share no synergies with each other. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see it work today. It'd be interesting. Okay, this player ended up opting into Ezreal reroll with no augment. And I think they're just going to go 8th for it. I don't think this is a very good uh, way to play the game. I feel like when you play as reroll, uh, it's because you either hit by carry augment or you hit as carry augment. I mean, he hit, he he hit probably the best four cost augment that he could here, which is uh, the mirror carry, because at least he has like low HP, so he gets attack speed. Yeah, that's that, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, just don't do that. I would say probably. I thought maybe we were seeing some new innovative line, but yeah, that's that's just bad. I'd say. All right, the set. I mean, it's set too. Oh my god, the punch. Punch protocol. The threat probably get more reroll value. That's true. Like you're rolling for everything three star, so like you might as well roll for uh Ramus three and um Kogath three as well. Whereas like I mean now the that guy just has five sets, which maybe hits set three somehow. Nah, not really Velkaz anymore. Unless you're trolling him. But yeah, this this Velkaz unit is not very good. But we are seeing actually a Velkaz. And people in China actually like Velkaz a bit. I don't really agree, but... Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Base crit chance is 25. If JG, Jewel Lotus, base 80% crit, so Garbreaker is 100% crit. But 80 to 100 is... Like, who cares? 80% versus... um 100%. You just prefer more damage, which you get through more AP. Not more crit. I'm pretty sure it's way more efficient to just add AP there than to add crit. Interesting, uh, like AP flex spot here. Just a random, uh... Oh. Admin spat? Or at man? We've seen a lot of four admin today as well. No clue what this admin is. But, yeah. And the set is trying to clean up for this Kaisa board. I mean... He's 50 gold. He's got a lot of gold to roll down. And maybe he could actually hit set 3 here if he high rolls it. Man, that guy who played the underground reroll died at like, what, 4, 5 or something? And like, everyone else has been alive for like 50 more rounds. It's kind of insane. What is this? Oh, he's just pivoting out of Kaisa. I mean, there's no reason he has to play Kaisa here. But now he just pivots into like a very flexible set for it. Wow, well played. Well played to not hard commit to Kaisa in this game. Uh, and just ends up pivoting to like MF plus uh, Belveth. Really cool. So yeah, like, I mean, game would be very different, obviously, if he did Kaisa augment, but he had a flexible game plan and he ends up executing on it. Ooh, he's going to hit uh, MF3 set 3. Oh, wait. Actually? Maybe. Wow, really, uh... Man, just seeing that guy's quality and then going to this, it's like it's like putting glasses on. Like, it's just so much more clear. Yeah, that, that's a really interestingly played game. I'd love to see like the whole game from his perspective. Okay, Viego support augment here. Yeah, we haven't actually seen everybody's augments, but I imagine a lot of Viego's 
Looks like still a lot of Samiras. Not seeing any Zed this game, huh? Are there any players playing Zed? I guess we'll see as people look around uh, more. I mean, there's this Sedge, but yeah, that's not a Zed game either. Oh yeah, this was just Achen trying to stabilize. He tried to play a Jax game and then missed on Jax's completely. The uh, Battle and Flare game with an Aphelios 2. Oh, because he went 9 with Rich Get Richer. My god. He's 23 HP though. But his board's so good. I don't expect him to lose very many fights. That was also a Red Gun Aphelios. Um, so, buffs to Red Gun coming in. A lot of people swap in between Red Gun and Blue Gun now for what's actually better. Saw one. Don't know if the guy's dead. Oh, okay. I'm not sure everyone is dead here. Mira. You go. Uh, yeah, I don't see a Zed player, but maybe maybe you just haven't given it to them. Laser core Zed. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, no, there's this guy. Okay, this is Zed. Yeah, it's it's just the once again level eight six duelist Zed. No more laser core Zed. I mean, you're playing three laser core, uh, just with Sedge and uh, Yasuo. But uh, no more like seven laser core. We're seeing all of our, our Zed players play uh, six. And he's going to fifth at worst. Um, so not a great. Whoa, he's got six Zeds. Okay, duplicator. Down to see a duplicator. Well, he's playing Rich Get Richer Zed. That sounds pretty bad to me. Does not seem that great, but I guess we'll see. Oh, it's an Orn item tome. It actually has no shred. Yeah, so it's kind of good. You can just slap that on Zoe and she applies it to the whole board, or even Urgot. One off MF3! Oh, he's 29 HP and win streaking. Okay, I thought he was like about to die. Oh, a lot of these players. Okay, like, yeah, someone took Hook. A lot of players were not positioned for Hook, but you need to be positioned for Hook when you see the Orn um, tome because everyone can get a Hook. All right. Looks like Zed player's out in fifth. Um, yeah, so still uh still seeing Oh there it is! Oh my god, and he's gonna move Zanya's to it. And then just leave two other components on it. Wow. Um Yeah, just wanted to guarantee the Zanya's on it, and then he let the other two components be random. I mean these two are fine. Like she's her casts aren't gonna hit insanely hard. Like it's an MF3, so they're gonna hit hard enough, I think. I think, right? Surely MF3 wins this fight. Oh, the punch protocol! That was kind of close. But yeah, he actually got there in the end. Like, this is. He would definitely have preferred any other. Like, not this. He would have preferred the static shift to pop off. But, uh, yeah. Well, the idea of using recon to get to late game? Yeah, I know. I mean, I've heard some people talk about that idea. Imagine the Shoujin popping off instead of uh, Gunblade. Yeah, I mean... Oh yeah, he didn't even have the JG on there. Um, wait, so we could have put JG on there? Weird. Yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like, Static Shift still provides attack speed, which is, like, effectively mana. But yeah, it's definitely not ideal on a unit with uh, this big of a mana pool. You definitely prefer to have the Shoujin on there. Giga Chad set. Yeah, the set's actually doing work. Just punching boards down. I guess the admin player died because that is a plus one admin that is just being taken on carousel yeah. it's another viego comp top one. man i need to play more viego that's what i'm learning like this is actually just a completely normal game into viego and he's top three looks like viego is still quite good this is also smear game man this is like attack of patch 13.3 like this is all the comps that were good last patch um popping off here plus a random misfortune three you got a first with viego today all right I'll uh I'll become the Viego lover again. I I was one tricking Viego for a while to mixed success. That's a Leona too. You could probably play. I mean, surely the sport's just winning out, right? I mean, he's not on. Wait. No, he's. Oh wait, no. It's the other board is uh. The other board is MF3. I forgot. <laughs> Yo, the MF's actually hitting the uh the freezy pop. Like, if there were ever a fight that he could lose, it'd be this one, but there's no shot. There is absolutely no way. 
All right, so that's a first for MF3. Really, really cool game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my Twitch and all my other links down below. Thank you, thank you. This guy's expression is still way too intense. I don't know why he decided to stare directly at the camera with his eyes wide open. Um, I want to go back because you said Bio needs a duo carry. I want to 